So Jeff Bezos went to space. The funniest comment was Tulsi Gabbard said, the only problem I have with Bezos' Blue Origin space rocket ship into outer space is that it's going to come back. Zing zing. He wants to thank you, the Amazon customer, for him having that much money to do that. I also I want to thank uh, every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer because you guys paid for all of this. A lot of people are weighing in on whether they think he should or shouldn't have done it, but I'm gonna do something different. What did he actually do? Jeff Bezos launched 351,210 feet into space on Tuesday, eclipsing the height of Richard Branson's flight by roughly 69,000 feet. 69,000. Nothing weird about that number. You're an adult anomaly, come on. This is why they don't want you on real TV news. Anyway, so how many miles in the air is that? I did the math and it's 66.517 miles in the air. So close to 66.6, maybe next time, just kidding. So in comparison to other things in space, how high is 66.5 miles in the air? This is from NASA's website about the upper atmosphere. And if you can see weather satellites are 250 miles in the air, International Space Station is 250 miles in the air, the Hubble telescope is 370 miles in the air. So Jeff Bezos went below them. And if you notice something, they call it space because that's the technical term. But most people think space is outside of Earth's atmosphere. I used to think that until I did my research on NASA websites, etc., And I realized that space could also mean within Earth's atmosphere. All you have to do is look at this chart from NASA themselves. And if you don't believe me, space.com published an article in February of 2019 that said, surprise, Earth's atmosphere extends far beyond the moon. So they are now speculating that Earth's atmosphere might go beyond the moon. God bless hats.com. God bless hats.com. Get a hat so I don't go poor. When they say the science is settled, that's a propaganda term that they use on Earth and abroad to act like you can't question them. And then when, of course, they change their mind and evolve with medicine science, Earth science, or space science, they say that they're allowed to change their mind. You're just not allowed to disagree with them. Some experts disagree with the experts, but the experts agreed that the only experts that were the experts were the experts who agreed with the experts. But isn't that fascinating? A lot of your favorite things in space, whether it be Jeff Bezos and his Blue Origin, Hubble Space Telescope, International Space Station, and possibly even the moon are within Earth's atmosphere. One of my favorite things to do is research space stuff because once I started learning about it, it's seriously hilarious. Listen to NASA's oldest active astronaut, Don Petit, explaining why we don't go back to the moon. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. You know, we had the technology, we just lost it and it's a painful process to build back again. That makes sense considering they say that the computers used to put us on the moon were worse than your cell phone. And now we have super quantum computers that are smarter than humans, but we had the technology and it's a painful process to build back again. I love that clip. I believe them. I trust all experts. I trust everybody, government, every agency. I mean, if you're not trusting them, <laughs> You must be one of them conspiracy theorists. So what about the moon landing tapes? They never could have gotten erased, right? It's the greatest accomplishment in human history, arguably ever. Except for Reuters in 2009 that said the moon landing tapes got erased, NASA admits. The original recordings of the first humans landing on the moon 40 years ago were erased and reused, but newly restored copies of the original broadcast look even better, NASA officials said on Thursday. Good, 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 good. NPR. Houston, we erased the Apollo 11 tapes. If you dive into this article, it says, an exhaustive three-year search for some tapes that contain the original footage of the Apollo 11 moonwalk has concluded that they were probably destroyed during a period when NASA was erasing old magnetic tapes and reusing them to record satellite data. We're all saddened that they're not there. We all wish we had 2020 hindsight, said Dick Nasger, a TV specialist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland who helped lead the search team. I don't think anyone in the NASA organization did anything wrong, Nasgar says. I think it slipped through the cracks and nobody's happy about it. What's their budget again? That they're reusing old magnetic tapes? How many millions upon billions are they getting over the course of the years? Uh, yeah, they're just reusing tapes. I mean, get these guys some extra tapes, okay? I wouldn't even tape over Home Alone, let alone the moon landing. But they did nothing wrong, says that guy. It's hilarious because think about like the NBA Hall of Fame, the most important prize in there. Imagine if somebody just sold it or lost it. It's like, it's not a little thing. This is arguably the greatest accomplishment in human
human history ever. And you guys are acting like it's just a VHS tape that you forgot to return to Blockbuster. So on top of the story that they erased or lost the moon landing footage, recently the story got even funnier when CNN said NASA sold moon landing footage to an intern for $218. Now the tapes could sell for millions. I should have interned at NASA so they could give me the greatest accomplishment in human history on tape by a mistake for a couple hundred dollars. What a come up that would be. They did nothing wrong. This is the government at work. Totally competent, totally normal, makes perfect sense. I mean, we had the Mona Lisa, we just scribbled over it. I'm sorry, I let a five-year-old scribble over it. I thought it was a coloring book at an IHOP. We gave them crayons and we just turned our back. I mean, sorry about that. Right. If you go on Google, it says, what happened to the moon landing telemetry data? NASA News Conference, they concluded that the data tapes with the SSTV signal were shipped from Australia to Goddard and then routinely erased and reused a few years later. Australia backup tapes were also erased. <laughs> after Goddard received the reels following the procedures established by NASA. Just erasing the telemetry data. I mean, duh, what else would you do with it? Keep it? No, I get it, that makes sense. Trust me, I can't stand these conspiracy theorists who read actual facts and just ask questions. That's totally weird. And to conclude this video, this week, Jeff Bezos donated $100 million to CNN contributor Van Jones and chef Jose Andres. Cause who needs $100 million more than a CNN contributor named Van Jones? I'm happy for him. Nice guy. Thank you, Jeff Bezos, for all that you do. Hopefully, if you do go back to the moon sometime, you can keep the data, the tapes, and not by a mistake tape over them or sell them to an intern. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I'll be back with more videos soon. If you'd like to support my page, I have patreon.com slash rare talk. That's patreon.com slash rare talk. It's really been a rock for me considering I've had certain things monetized and demonetized. They mess with the algorithm. Them. They write smear articles about me and try to limit my reach. So patreon.com slash rare talk is why I'm allowed to say whatever I want. And I'm forever grateful for the people who contribute even a small amount there. It means a lot. And I answer all messages there about once a month as a perk to the patrons. I also sell hats at godblesshats.com or dreamrare.com. I have hats, beanies, tank tops, t-shirts now, and we're looking to expand that as well. Oh, and stickers. My Telegram chat is Dream Rare Chat. Find me on Telegram at Dream Rare Chat. Check out my new YouTube Clips channel at Dream Rare Clips, youtube.com slash Dream Rare Clips. If you want even shorter clips and interviews that you won't see anywhere else that are under 10, 15 minutes. Some clips are only two, three, four minutes, five minutes long. If you're in a rush and you don't like the long live streams I do or even the long breakdowns, Dream Rare Clips is the channel for you. It's shareable, it's watchable, and check out my music on Spotify. A-N-0-M-A-L-Y. That's A-N-0-M-A-L-Y. I have a song with Trapped, the band called Come Together. I have a few singles, a few collabs, and much more coming soon. God bless you. I'll be back soon. I'll be independent. I like my amendments. I don't want to bend it. I don't want to send it. I am on a vengeance. I will not regret it. I am not defenseless. All my friends protect it. Yeah. We let the enemy get too friendly. Now we quarantine like Julian inside the embassy.